Hey everyone, in this video I'll walk you through how I implemented Tiago Forte's Paro method in Microsoft OneNote. If you're new here, I'm a certified math and physics teacher in Ontario who holds a master's degree in statistics. I recently changed my OneNote setup after reading Building a Second Brain by Tiago Forte and Tiago just released a Para guide as kind of an implementation guide which is also a great read. So I'll link both of those books in the description below. And the other thing is all the timestamps will be there as well. I encourage you to post your comments and questions below. All right, so let's go through all the notes I captured using my phone mostly. I capture them sometimes using my computer or a uh, web uh, snip tool and that kind of thing. But basically the OneNote badge, which will you'll see a little card appear. I already talked about it in a couple other videos. So let's go through these notes. The first note I have is plan week. It's just a reminder to plan my upcoming week. I usually do that on the weekends, mostly on Sundays. My review day is mostly Sundays. That's where I sharpen the X. And here there's some Kindle deals, honestly. Uh, it's pretty rare to find like good books on there, but sometimes, sometimes you do and once in a while I'll look at it. These were my goals for the summer. Uh, I was supposed to get hip surgery done and it got delayed so basically i'll just archive that so again i'm implement i implemented the para method so that's p a r a projects areas resources archive so this is going straight to the archives because i don't need it anymore so i'll move and then if we go and look at the archive i'll put it into the um, maybe projects or i'll just put it in the miscellaneous Okay, so now the next note is was to look at the Fitbit data, um, and I kind of already did. So um, this is an article idea. So I'll put all the articles at the top, and then I'll move them to my Notion. And again, um, I have a Notion dashboard, which I'll uh, talk about in another video. So you'll see a card appearing in the top right. Uh, food tactics, that's an article idea. So I'll add that to my content creation idea. Uh, first year of teaching takeaways, that's another uh, content idea, pro tip. So every time I have a good idea about creating content, I add it uh, to my OneNote and then I, I bunch them up all into Notion and then eventually I actually work on them when I have time and when I judge it's the right time to do it. So Google uh, tips, that's, that's a content idea as well. That's an article idea, yes. Favorite episodes, uh, that's a content idea, but that would be... I already did that in an article, so I'll just delete that. I don't need it. Um, add life chapter, so that's in a project that I'm currently working on. I'll put that in the links as well. So that's my daily mood analysis. I wrote the first chapter already. Uh, eyesight analogy for the provincial math test, adaptive testing. So that's a content idea. So I'll leave it at the top. Um, my coworker suggested watching The Bear on Disney Plus. Uh, apparently, it's a good show. And then another coworker said to watch Emmett Till and uh, Le Tendre Nete. That's two movies. So I'll add them to sun Someday Maybe. This is where I keep a list of TV shows and movies I, I want to watch. And it's always good because you spend a lot less time scrolling and trying to find something good to watch. You let other people distill the, uh, the signal from the noise and then you just listen to the signal, right? So these three things, I'll, I'll do it. I'll uh, put them in Someday or Maybe. Then maybe instead of practice sets, so that's a software to mark. So that would be in the area. It's not something I'm actively working on, but it's part of teaching. So I'll try to find teaching. It's the fourth one. I just take it, drag it in. And then again, we keep going. Uh, add honorable mention to Friday Night Lights, the best TV shows. So that's content idea. So I'll, I'll, leave, it at, I'll leave it in Notion because I already have a post idea for top five TV shows. Uh, this is a gift. For my partner so it's a um, Patagonia shirt uh, it's quite expensive <laughs> uh, so I'll add it to my list of gifts for her so I'll, I'll do that next and then these are shoes that I'm interested in for myself so I'll add that to my gift list in Notion and then uh, compare Dahlia ratings with how we feel valence so that's again that's a project of the Dahlia thing there's the How We Feel app, which is a great app. I'll probably make a video on that relatively soon. And I honestly like it more than Delio right now. So I'll try to compare how the ratings um, are different and just analyze the How We Feel data once I can export it. So I'll add that there. That's definitely something I want to do. Uh, someone sent me this because I mentioned I might start doing Tai Chi 
just because I like that kind of thing, like yoga and stretching, but I'm also getting a surgery. So that would be a good way to do physio and movement, but also like that's friendly on the body. So that I think I'll add to my calendar. So this I will add to my calendar for after surgery. I'll just uh, add a reminder in my Google calendar saying, check out Tai Chi and I'll link to this picture. Uh, this is payment information. So I'll just add it to areas and I'll add it to my income tax. And then this is a quote, so I'll drag that in. Uh, communication, so that's for teaching. So I'll add that to my to-do list. I want to add that to my Google site actually, because I want to basically tell my students explicitly like what I want them to do and what I don't want them to do when it comes to showing their steps. I'll add that to my Google site teacher. And all these projects act kind of as a to-do list. And once I go through them, I can add them to my Microsoft to-do app, right? So um, this is add a check mark with all the concepts with three self-checking columns. So that's for teaching, but that's a Google site or I'll put that in my stats class. So that's that's the course I'll do first. Quote in daily book. So that's a daily book. I'll put that in. Uh, income tax. So I, I bought the SNP premium. I'll also link to a video uh, how I think it's worth it to get the SNP premium. And I have the early adopters discount as well. So I'll, I'll add that to my income tax as a receipt. Oops, it didn't work. Okay, there you go. Uh, this is a Dyson for a air purifier because we are moving. So now I realize that I do need a new project because we are moving. So let's head over to the projects and let's add a project for moving. So I went ahead and added a project at the bottom on the left here. So I'll just write uh, Dyson air purifier and that way I'll be in my moving project. Uh, full cycle Beachwood maintenance. So that's a bike store that I was recommended when I told my coworkers I was moving there. So I'll add that in the moving, but I'll also add it in my Google Cal. So that one, I'll, I'll put it in there. Uh, poker hands. I posted it somewhere else, so I don't need that anymore, but I also made videos about that already. So I'll just straight up delete that. I'll never need that again. Uh, the project, uh, oh yeah, so this is an AI. Um, Gutenberg, they have a bunch of free books but now the AI can read those books and create audio books and it's completely free. So that I'll probably share as a tweet or something. So I'll just uh, put as Twitter post here. It's a good idea. Okay. Uh, these are the shoes, things I've changed my mind about. So um, religion, I find more utility and, and like belief in community and kind of thing. Flossing your teeth. I've changed my mind about um, these kinds of things. That's a receipt. So I'll, I'll just add that to, my receipts, I have that in the resources. So I'll just write uh, uh, insurance, life insurance receipt. And then I'll drag that in my receipts. And the last note was a recommendation for a place to eat and swim near my new house. So we're going to add that there. So I'll go ahead and add all of these notes in Notion and wherever they go. But basically, that's my process for reviewing my weekly captures. I do it on Sundays. And I find that the para system is very useful because it's super flexible and you can make it your own. The other thing I find with para is that um, the project centered makes you take action as well. Because when you just file everything under like tags or um, like a hierarchical structure of like a psychology and then books and that, these kinds of things, it's like you have a bunch of notes that go everywhere and you, you just collect notes and they collect dust, dust. So that's not ideal. The project centered approach is much better. That's what I found so far after probably six months to a year of using it. As you can see, organizing your notes and doing your weekly review doesn't take that long. Even by explaining everything I was doing, it takes between like five to 20 minutes, uh, depending on how many notes you have. And sometimes I miss a couple of weeks, so it'll take a bit more time. But anytime you have dead time or transition time, you can review a little bit at, at a time and that helps as well. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. And this video is one of the videos in my second brain and GTD playlist. So make sure to check those out.